Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here in Foley Square at the Southern District of New York Courthouse. Today, Monday, November 22nd, 2022. We're covering the courts, and today, the legal instructions and deliberations in U.S. versus Neil Cole of Iconics that we've been covering throughout. Yesterday, the sentencing of one of the horse drugging case, the Navarro case, it was Mr. Tenuzo, not the most involved, but not the least. His lawyer had asked, for no jail time, but Judge Viscosal, who knows the case quite well, imposed a sentence of 27 months. Inner City Press, exclusively there and reporting, picked up by other horse racing press. We'll get to soccer in a moment. This is a sports edition. Um, today, there's a proceeding in uh, Gene Carroll versus Trump, uh, rape and defamation case. Uh, we'll be covering that as well, and a couple of other things. One involving uh, a rough up by the UN. Watch your, watch this space. Speaking of the UN, that's what we want to speak about. Of course, the World Cup. But little known, or at least to those inside the UN, nobody even asked a question. Antonio Guterres, the Secretary General who's banned inner city press, who's taken Chinese bribes, who's covered up genocides in China and Cameroon, went to the World Cup. Now, you wouldn't know it because they didn't put out a single statement. No speech, no readout of meetings, nothing. Did he spend his own money? Because if he didn't, he's a thief. He went to Doha, and the only reason we know this is because Al Jazeera, Qatar State Media, reported it as bragging about it. And there was a photograph of him in a mask with the Qatari ambassador to the UN. Now, in the yesterday's noon briefing, no one said anything about it. No one asked any questions. Of course, it's a scandalous World Cup. 7,000 migrant workers dead. Various forms of discrimination on display. And then he went to Fez and talked about inclusivity and hate speech. This man is a liar, and inner city press has a right to be inside and expose him. Now, just now, Tunisia, Tunisia, spunky Tunisia, uh, brought Denmark to a 0-0 tie. Also, Saudi Arabia, Guterres' is good friend, at least MBS is, the, the grinder up of journalists, uh, beat Argentina. But more on that to follow. We're covering the World Cup, but mostly the UN's corruption, and we have a right to re-enter. To be continued.